Well, good day, good day, good day. The cold front is moved in. Yep. And it's moving in more. When I get to the fruit stand, which that's where I'm headed. When I get to the fruit stand, I'm going to have to put my hoodie on. <sighs> Just too nippy out here. I walked out to the truck and got in. And I was like, uh-huh. Yeah, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, hoodie, back hoodie time again. <laughs> I'm, uh, yeah. I'm, uh, like I said in my live last night, I'm, uh, I'm giving, uh, lifting one more chance. I'm starting my day off with my lifting Georgia peach tea. Yeah. I'm on Lipton. Neil's already contacted you. All right, just uh, uh, just before I get started, real before I get into this video gets too much further, uh, let me tell you. Uh, uh, I heard from Peggy last night or today. She's just uh, doing her best to get things done around, take advantage of uh, some nice weather, get some things done she needed to get done. And, uh, I guess just not staying up that late after all that. And but she said she's doing fine. So uh, I know last night I mentioned it in the live. It the same thing. Uh, I think Melinda Melinda was laughing. She was typing it, asking about Peggy at the same time that I I said something. Then her post came up. Uh, Where's Peggy? You know, anybody seen Peggy? And same question I just got finished asking. <laughs> Uh, uh, I sent her one back and told her we were just uh, just concerned about her and people were missing her. So uh, she'll be back. She's okay. Uh, well, I got to get out here and open the gate and get on the other side of the gate to continue on down the road. So uh, I'm going to do that. Y'all hang in there and keep on smiling. It's good to see you. It's another day. And, uh, Neil, I hope you're behaving yourself. <laughs> uh, it was good to have everybody in the live last night. Let's see. Uh, I, I, I hope I don't leave nobody out. Eric was there, too. Uh, of course, I said, uh, and Tina. Tina popped in. It's good to see her. She popped in there. We got, I got some more subscribers uh, today. Uh, I'm up to something. I don't know, 340-something. Uh, so that was that was good. I, uh, I don't know. Something I put out there it got somebody's attention, I reckon. But, uh, yeah. But let me get out and open this gate and head on up. Uh, Scott's up there right now, and uh, the man, uh, I need to find a way to slow him down a little bit, maybe take on a few more, try to take on a few more things myself or something, I don't know, but he, he just, now that it's getting daylight, staying daylight longer, uh, he's, he's a worker now, he's a uh, He's, he's stretching it even more. And I told him that today. I said, now it's daylight longer. Now you're going even longer than you were before. So uh, he says, yeah, I know. I, I, he won't, you know. He's least he's listening. He realizes he's going to slow down a little bit. But, uh, okay. Y'all hang in there and keep smiling. Well, speaking of hoodies, uh, I was ready to break out my old hoodie and try to stay warm you know and uh i went down to the mailbox on my way out and uh surprise 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 uh i got a new hoodie from the eddie family farm yeah how about 
about that. Now I can stay warm with a new hoodie. Well, let me get in here and uh, get started. And uh, I'll see you all later. Well, the day of the fruit stand is over. I'm back home. <laughs> yeah, go on. He's on down here. See what's going on down here. Tank is down there somewhere barking. I ain't figured out where yet. He ain't barking. Ever. He ain't barking constantly. Over that way, someone. Well, yeah. the situation with the ducks ain't no better, except for there's less of them. They're still going over on the chicken side. They're all out here enjoying the day. Look at all. Hi, you two. You two want to come in? Oh, hi there. You said hello? Turkeys are hanging out together. The chickens are all out here. Now, oh, yeah, hey judge, flopping your wings at me. Uh, the other three ducks are over here and that drake is over on the other side. They separated themselves from him. That's what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> you running from the judge? The judge, the judge puts you in your place. He's took back control of the chickens now. Since Mr. Turkey's been gone, the judge here is starting to rule the roost again. 100%. See? <laughs> he agreed with me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he thinks he's something. What do you think about it, Judge? The judge actually came from Manny's kids. They were the judge was theirs. And I don't think somebody didn't like him hollering so much, so we ended up with him. <laughs> well, Uh, they named him something else, but I renamed him the judge here. There's them two guineas. Now, all the chickens in the barn here have decided to make their way out. I closed the gate behind me. It just had a little bitty crack. They all 
while I was watering the rabbits. They all went for it. Well, everything at the barn is done. Everything's fed. Everything's watered. There's a kitty cat trapped over there that can't get out. I told you to come out when I did. You could go out the other hole, really. But you act like you don't know where that is. Get on out of there. There you go. Yeah, I know. Yeah, something good did happen. Or bad did happen. And it was good, too, I reckon. I went in to get the eggs. I bumped my head up top, knocked my head off. I bent over to pick it up, and the door shut behind me. And the latch is out here. And it latched. I was stuck in the chicken house. In the, in, in the chicken coop thing. Couldn't get out. Left my phone laying out here. I thought, well, I can't call nobody. So, luckily I looked over there and there hung a bungee. I took the bungee through the crack of the door. Went down, caught the hole in the latch thing to get myself out. If that bungee hadn't been there, I'd have been standing there with a basket of eggs waiting on Scott, it's in case Scott came down here. I mean, he he would have, that's why I went ahead and doing it. So I can tell him it's all done. He ain't gotta come down here and take care of nothing tonight. Oh, let's see. Cold front coming in, mama know, that mama rabbit knows it. She's done put them babies Boy, look how dusty everything is. Hold on, man. Wipe you off on my... My Eddie, uh... Huh? Hoodie here. Mm. But, uh, yeah. Uh, at my... Oh, I was saying, that mama rabbit has put her babies back up under uh, her, her nest. Ah, uh, shit, they're buried all up under the fur. You see them moving around under there. But she's put them back up under there good. All right, you're fed, kitty cat. And rabbits, fed them rabbits and fed their water and water. They got food and I watered them. Okay. Oh, I got one more I want to do. I want to dump the chicken water tank out in the pen here. Ducks are over there in it right now. Anybody want a duck? We got ducks that need to go. Three of them. Three of them anyway. <laughs> I'll be stuck with a male. Well, since a couple of days ago, I made such a long video. and Today is going to be a really short, short video. At least I think it's going to be. Uh... <laughs> <clears throat> well, yeah, I'm done for today. Except for yarded, I got a yard, I can't help it. <sighs> okay. Uh, take me a nap. I might wake up. I did last night, that's what I did. I took a nap and woke up and was awake for a long time. But, uh, yeah, I got a... Get my hoodie off and, oh, it's been a long day. Oh, uh, but I've enjoyed it. I got the people coming to fruit stand to talk to. Scott, uh, he went over to the 120 to ban a little bull calf that was born. And they couldn't, they couldn't find him. Yeah, couldn't find him. Mama done put him somewhere. You know, uh, 120 acres. Uh, a lot of ground to try to cover to find the little rascal. Couldn't find him. So he came back 
to the fruit stand. We had to get all the flowers and stuff and, you know, get them out from under the sky in case of a frost. I'm back in the greenhouse. All that good stuff. This cold weather makes me sleepy. And, uh, but that got all done and got the store all closed up. And got the stuff at the barn done. So, hey, I've got it all wrapped up. I mean, you know, tight as a, tight as a button. All buttoned down. Yeah. But I hope everybody has a, has had a, Good a, a better day than as good a day as I've had or better. <laughs> I hope better. I worked. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, whew, to be retired, I sure have to work an awful lot here lately. Patriot, you need to get home. Uh, yeah. Everybody have a good night. Keep on smiling and uh, keep looking up. <sighs> Put it to smiling, looking up at the same time. Yeah, it's going to look good. Uh, God bless. Remember, Jesus loves you. And so do I. Let's, uh, let's wrap this day up. Good night.